Hello traders at CMC Markets. Welcome to another update by RRG Research for Thursday 1st of June and I'm recording this here in London. My name is Trevor Neal and welcome to this TA Extra report. This morning we're going to focus on the Nasdaq and the Dow Jones in industrial average. Now from this relative rotation graph here with daily sampling you'll see why that is. We've got here uh, major uh, uh, global indices and we can see that the US indices are very dispersed. We've got uh, uh, here, uh, right up here, we've got the Nasdaq along with the Nikkei. Um, we've got the S&P close to the crosshair here so moving with the benchmark which is the MSCI world. Um, we've got the Russell here, a little bit to the right of 100, and then we've got the Dow over here. Um, and in the actually in the lagging quadrant, um, and really stuck in in their short tail, not really moving. But the Nasdaq has got a long tail and is moving very very strongly. So a very disperse uh, pic picture. Um, we've got the, the uh, technology stocks. Uh, in, in partic particular, two of the uh, technology stocks, uh, NVIDIA and Meta, absolutely leading the, the pack. Uh, they're, they're all s relatively strong, but those two are really, really generating uh, the strong outperformance in the NASDAQ itself. But the industrial average is lagging behind. It's the weakest of all the US uh, securities. So let's have a look at those. Um, uh, two indices and see what the chart is because after all the Nasdaq may um, offer some uh, potentials as in form of catch-up but let's see if that's really the case. Right, starting with the Dow Jones Industrial Average and a daily chart will go shorter term in a, in a moment. Uh, first we could, let's look at the relative rotation graphs lines, the uh, ratio and the momentum. Both of them below 100 in here. Um, slight improvement but uh, it, it's really still looking very very poor. Well, that's what we saw in the RRG graph. Um, in we see a significant area of resistance at 34,300. High, 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 high. Uh, they're very stubbornly uh, hold, holding the market, containing uh, the market, and making it this a very poor performance. We're in a intermediate term downtrend. Um, the support is at this low here at 31,300. Let's jump now from the weekly chart to a short-term chart. Now there's a daily chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. The, as you can see, significant tops in here, high, 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 high. These are all pretty close together at 34,300. Um, we're in an intermediate downturn now. We have seen already that the ROG lines, both uh, the momentum and the ratio, are below uh, 100. So relatively poor performance against the MSCI world. This downtrend channel here now, lower highs, lower lows in place. Um, there is support down at 31,400 approximately, um, but the move here is um, is downwards and there's a lot of resistance above really this whole area up in here is resistance and we're moving below it now so the the weak situation in the nas in the dow jones industrial average is looks like uh, continuing now here's the uh, tech 100 uh, index um, it's been soaring since january we picked that up in um, in RRG back right back at the beginning of the year. Broke the downtrend line, powered ahead, pulled pull back, powered ahead, retested the <coughs> August 2022 highs, um, eventually broke it and then had a pullback, soared ahead and then now we've got this. The situation in this perspective with daily charts is that uh, the RRG lines both above 100 are uh, looking good. The um, RSI um, Two tops in place here, um, but uh, a strong uptrend 
is be, is behind it, but it's, it's a little bit of hesitation. From the slower reacting um, MACD, we've got a, a gap widening in the difference between the MACD and the signal line, so increasing momentum from that perspective. But let's zoom in on this area here now. Is there an opportunity in here, or are we topping out? Now, this is a NASDAQ with each bar being an hourly bar. Uh, so we have got the part of the big uh, surge up. Um, we have topped out um, at 14,520. Um, then we've come down with a set of lower highs here, not perfectly drawn, I've got to say, but uh, there is a perfect, um, the, we are easing back. Um, I put in Fibonacci retracement in here, the point being that we have not yet reached 38.2. So if it were to stabilize here or above, um, then that very, has very strong implications for the next leg, looking like being as long as that leg um, upwards if we stabilize here. If we stabilize lower, then we have to be more conservative in, in our um, uh, our projections uh, if it comes back to 61.8 almost two-thirds that's a lot of selling coming into the market that is bullish um, so we must be respectful um, that the trend may be um, uh, slowing up ending even so at the moment it could be just another opportunity like that or it could of course be the top which does it look most likely to be well, the MACD, as you would expect, is pointing down. So at the moment, we're easing back. The RSI, also lower highs in place here. Um, it's actually the value of the RSI is at 44. So it's neutral at this moment. So it's gone from bear, bear, you know, down a downtrend in the RSI to a neutral reading holding up. So. It's too early to say that it's a, it's a buy. I think the aggressive traders, the uh, short-term traders, um, would look at very, very least for the downtrend line, which is approximately at 14,300, just above 14,300, to be broken, to say there's a resumption of the trend. Then the protection is a very obvious base, would be the recent low at 14,210, let's say, uh, there. If that were to happen, so if we were to steady up uh, today, then the, um, the implications will be for another very strong move because the pullback has been so weak. However, we could drive lower, but I would use the same strategy um, as we are still uh, in the intermediate term in a strong uptrend. So we still treating this as a reaction rather than a reversal and if it were to drive lower um, still below this downtrend line I'd use the downtrend line as a signal of a reversal back in the direction of the trend below that precedes it um, as in this case here but it could be lower as time goes on uh, then that would be a good protection level uh, but the further we go down then the more modest the likely uh, next move would be so I think the strategy is to approach it from the bull side um, you, you still use this as an opportunity it still looks most likely as an opportunity and not a top in the market not the end of the move and so we're structuring uh, the trade as a good risk reward ratio and the quicker it happens it reverses upwards uh, the better the opportunity will be um, another opportunity would be to do a pairs trade between the uh, nasdaq and the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones is weak and looks like getting weaker. It's like it's detached completely. Um, and the Nasdaq um, look, looks like a good place potentially um, to uh, re to enter the mar market, even though it's been going up since January. I will leave it there for this session. And thank you very, very much for listening. Um, it's from me, Trevor Neal at RG Research. Um, I look forward to talking to you again and may the trend be with you.